What are you looking at? You on catalog, dude. Dan, what's it like employing Ronnie? Um, kind of like that. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but... <laughs> frustrating. It's frustrating. What do you mean? <laughs> is, he, is he a good worker? He is. Yeah? Yeah. That's about it. Just kind of stupid. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? We're back with a new video, but before we start, I need you to comment, like, subscribe, all that YouTube bullshit, or else we won't fucking succeed. All right, now to the video. All right, guys, so we're gonna do a switch mount today with a switch for a switch on the fly setting. So first off, get one of these. Now, if you buy one of these, the benefit is you do not have to drill anywhere into your dash to mount your switch if you've never done it <clears throat> pull it out right now it comes with the template in here i'll show you so put the rest of it back in just to give you an idea of what i'm talking about so when you go to mount a switch without the switch on the fly mount recipe this is a little sticker they will give you and you can i'm just going to do this for example but <clears throat> say you wanted to mount your switch right here you would drill it it tells you the bit size and then you would drill a hole now i'm assuming that most people don't like the idea of drilling into the dash uh if i've had to do a bunch before this actually came out it's kind of how it came out it's just you don't want to drill into a new truck especially like if you have a platinum or something i mean it's just kind of kind of dumb so all right so when you go to mount this on here i'll just show you why drilling it's a bad idea so you have a nut like a lock washer type deal now this is kind of critical i'm going to show you so when you take this apart <clears throat> see this washer Make sure that stays in there. And I'll show you, it can come out if you unscrew it upside down or something. And the problem being is if you take this washer out, <clears throat> and I don't know if they'll be able to see all the little numbers on there. Mm -hmm. Well, that'll take it from a, uh, you can go up to an 11 position switch, right? Uh, do not do that. It only works as five. So that's, you're gonna want to put it back in between five and six, obviously. But then you would come here and then nut washer. Hey Dan, how about you shut the hell up? <laughs> And just tight. don't these are plastic so don't don't just just hand tighten it that's all you need and there you go and then actually we'll go to mount it up later and i'll show you uh in here they actually have your little indicator for everything so i'll show you that later but as far as as of now i want to do this we'll start showing the steps to get it into the truck all right guys so we're underneath this this brake pedal here so right where this goes into this big uh, rubber grommet <clears throat> for all your wires from your dash to go into the engine bed, you can take a razor blade. Now this is where you got to be careful. You just cut like a little, little incision into the boot. Not you don't want to go deep. You just want to get through it. So I kind of tried to clear it out as best I could so you could see. <clears throat> so at your local hardware store. Uh, this is like for, I had this laying around for, uh, what do you call it, uh, doing bags on trucks. For people that towed, I just had an extra piece, so I cut it on an angle right there. And then you can shove, you have to cut the other side, but you can shove this in, out the other side, feed a wire through. You do have to, if you have a bigger one, if you get a little bit uh, more round one, 
Uh, you can fit both wires through, but this one you can't. Pull it out, shove it back through, put the next wire through, and uh, that's how you get the wires through. So I'm gonna cut the back side. Um, it's kind of by the brake booster, so you guys aren't gonna be able to see it at all. But I'm gonna get a cut in that, and then I'll show you me shoving the wires through. All right, guys, so I got the hole cut. So we're gonna shove this through. I gotta kind of find the hole. I think I got it right there. Let me make sure it's throughout the other side real quick. Yep. And then shove your first wire through. I'm trying to give you guys light so you can see it. So, uh, you can see it, it's coming through. All right, now that it's out on the other side, I'm going to, you have to pull the uh, blue hose or this uh, fuel line, whatever you want to call it, airline, through the other side and then take it off and then come back in and redo that. So, all right, you're good. All right, you're through. And then, obviously, grab this. Just pull the, that through. Swear up a little bit. Leave it right there, and then follow the repeat the same process for both wires. It's pretty easy. All right, guys, so now you got two 8 mil bolts. Let me get in a better position. One out, and there's a second. Good. All right, now grab your piece. Just gonna put this up in there. Threads. Take this. Slide it up over the threads as well. Oh, why is it so tight? There you go. And then just tighten her up. I'm not gonna bore you with all the details of bolting the second one in. So now, you will grab a sticker. Now, my fingers will allow. Wow, this is terrible. You almost got it. I know. You almost got it. You're right there. I know. Come on. Get it. Oh, got it. Ooh. Okay. You can. That on. Now we're going to go back to taking out the nut. That is a 13 millimeter. The nut off and the lock washer, but remember, leave that retaining ring that allows it to be a five position on there. Bring it in. Put your lock washer on. Bit more all right so i'll do this get this put on previous to me pulling all the wire through so i know where to mount it just to make sure it's out of the way of the pedals and then i can mount it up here and then pull the slack out so generally I like to put this in first but clip that and everything all right so uh i'm gonna go get the uh 
Allen key for the knob, and I'll show you how to do that real quick. All right, so to set the uh, knob on the switch, make sure it's either in the fifth, all the way fifth position, or the first position. And then there's a little, let me see if you guys can see it. There's a little indent right here of the uh, the selector. So now I don't know what size it is. They come with the little Allen key, but this one didn't, I don't know why. So just line it up with the uh, numero uno position or fifth, whatever you have it in. And then just kind of tighten it down. You don't have to go crazy. If it slips, you can always give it a little more torque, but there you go. So now that that's on, we're gonna hop up to the hood, show you the rest of that. All right, guys, so the sensor you're gonna be looking for to plug this into is right here. Very nice, the fuel filter. Oh, you don't wanna come off. All right, like that. Now, let me flip the back side over so you can see the wires. So the wires you're gonna be shooting for is the green, top, far left. And then the middle on the top, the green and white wire. So those are the wires that you're gonna wanna pin on this. So when you stick it back in. So once again, it will be obviously this top one and then this uh, middle one right here. And how you do that, let me see the locking mechanism in here. So it looks like you will take it and come in with this lock on the bottom, it's looking like. You should hear it snap into place. Yep, like that, see? Now it's snapped. Take this one. Snap. And then where's the little baggie? So, to keep the rest of the wires from getting corroded with... Wow, okay. with stuff is you're going to take these little butt plugs and press them in to each of the following holes. Like so. And then you just plug it in. But I'm gonna leave this off and if you don't know how to wire loom, I'll show you how to do that right now. Get her all spread eagle first. Start to slip her in the butt. Then I just kind of try and work this in as I pull down. And sometimes it'll pop out like that. Get to mess with it a little bit, but. Dang it. But it's just a little pro, uh, it's just a tedious process that's kind of annoying, but then you just run this all the way down into there. Plug it in. So we'll get back to you when uh, we get all that done. All right guys, so I messed up. So if you watch this far into the video, uh, when I had these two wires and I had them in these top two positions like so, it actually needs to be the middle and in this back position. I, was th I wasn't thinking in reverse when I put it in. I've done a million of these, but well, so I plug that hole and then use these two holes because when you put it in, obviously it's clipping in like so. So yeah, we'll get these in, get it finished up, and then show you what it looks like in the end. We got everything in. We're just gonna zip tie it up. So, but I just want to show you how it looks in the end. With you can route it however you'd like. I just have it in there roughly for now. So that's in there. Loom goes all the way back. I normally, if I were to bundle it up, and then just zip tie it up under here, uh, cause there's gonna be extra. Um, if you wondered how we did that, we have a deep pinning tool to deep pin the connector. So if you didn't watch the full video and you stuck it in there and you don't have a deep pinning tool, you're kind of fucked until you do. So that's why you watch the whole video and don't- uh, Skip through it. Skip through it. <laughs> so there you go. You know, we gotta, we'll do some little zip tying with the wire underneath. But, you know, it's super clean. And the cool thing is, I can hop in there. And... Now, so 
Some people wonder. A lot of people ask me what it's for. So it doesn't matter. It does not hit your shin when you're using the brake. There's plenty of clearance. Unless you got some serious cankleage. Yeah, exactly. As far as the Fords are concerned and the, the Duramaxes, you're good to go. Well, I guess if you were to do this with a five position chip on, chip on a 7.3 or something, and where you had a where you had a uh, five Watch position a, yeah, and a manual, then that would be the exception to that. But uh, other than that, I mean, just zip tying up a few wires and you're good to go. I mean, it's take us 25 minutes, just getting everything out here, filming it in parts. About 25 minutes for us to film it which all generally takes longer so <clears throat> thank you guys comment like subscribe and uh also i know i mentioned in uh what was that my lat not the last video but the previous one to that the hot side pipe the hot side pipe we have something coming out We're working on getting that discount code for you i've been talking to them i'm working on it. i'm pressing them i'm gonna get it for you guys so once it gets here and we released the video, we already have the video in stock, um, that when that video releases, it'll be like a, you'll have a certain window to uh, buy it. So that's a good reason to subscribe and hit the bell notifications because as soon as that video happens, I mean, you're gonna wanna be on it because if you're not, well, you're screwed, so. And then if the parts sell out and you're not on it and the parts sell out, then the, video, the, the code's useless, so you gotta be on it. Yeah. Well, no, if they buy it, but it's sold out, like they'll still get the discount, but they'll just have to wait for the part to come in. I guess that's true. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think of it like that. See, so. this is why you're perfect. You know, you just have everything <laughs> together. You just, you know, I wish I could be like you. But I'm just... Ooh, trust me, no you don't. Um, but yeah, so stay tuned for that. We generally post every Friday if for some reason, but we already have that video in stock, so as soon as Friday... As soon as Josh normally uploads the videos, or usually I do, on Fridays, yeah. Friday around like that 7 a.m. to like 9 a.m. mark, it should be up. So, I mean, hop on it because there's already people in the comments and everything like super excited. So, be on top of it. And we actually may have something else. Some people kind of have an idea of what it might be. There's actually something else that'll be released too. Um, I don't know if I'm going to show in the next video, but we have a weight reduction video coming after this video so stay tuned for that and uh talk to you guys later man thank you guys Oops.